So if you're in the market for a small trailer, small utility trailer, you wanna to go to Home Depot and take a look at these caravan trailers with a K. So here's just a good example of the bigger caravan trailers, the six by 12s, six by 10s, I'm sorry. And six by 10 right there compared to the five by eight utility trailer. Let's start out with something that makes these a lot different than the other trailers you see at the big box stores. Uh, the paint finish is kind of a rough texture finish and it looks like it might be powder coated or baked on um, because usually the paint that's on the uh, competitor's trailers is kind of flaky and rusts pretty easily. Another thing you notice is it does have a V-shape going into the trailer versus just that one piece of steel sticking out. That makes it a lot stronger and a lot less likely to sway. It's also a true rectangular steel tube. It's not angle iron, and that goes for the whole frame all the way around and as well as underneath. Take a look at these welds and the way they're going into it. It welds on this look really, really nice. Let's take a look underneath as well. Oh, Welds under here look good. You see the V, it's coming all the way there to the trailer. So these are the little carry-on trailers that they got at Tractor Supply. You see the hitch is in there, and it's just one steel tube that goes from here to the first support of the trailer. We've got some welded on expanded steel with a bunch of slag that is just painted over, and this paint is really bad to flake, and it probably is already starting to rust. Yeah, it is rusting in a couple spots that paint is just not as good so this is the five by eight and then this is a six by eight and the price difference is considerable because you go to a v-groove tongue but you've still got these welds with i mean that's not a very good weld right there look at this slag build up on that one and splatter everywhere just painted right over and look at this that's Really poor workmanship, really poor craftsmanship. These lights are not LED, there's a bulb in there. So the lights are gonna have to be swapped out periodically. You see the wiring like that ground right there, that's gonna rust, it's gonna give you problems later on down the road. And then, you know, you could take a wire wheel and clean this up, so. And then look at this, the wiring is ran directly over the angle iron frame right here. This whole frame is made of angle. And the wiring is directly over it. That wiring is gonna rub and it's going to short out. I don't know how long it'll take. And the same thing here, that's just crazy. So this is a piece of angle iron. It's not a square tube. That, that, why wouldn't you route it just here? So we're going underneath the angle iron and then coming through a hole with no grommet, no wire protection. So you just have two opportunities for that to short out. Anyway, this is just one of the many reasons I went with the trailer from Caravan from Home Depot and why I think you guys should too, because the trailer is hopefully something you buy one. If you notice it has latches on the front as well. If you undo these latches and there's pins that you can pull out, Once that's done, if you have an item that maybe is too long, maybe you're trying to load a four-wheeler side by side, and you wanna be able to close the gate, so you need to bring it forward a little bit without hitting the front rail, you just fold it down. How cool is that? So the way this latch system works is that it pulls the gate tight against a plastic fitting that's inside this tube, and these are lockable. You push the latch forward, pop it open, and then you're ready to swing the gate down. This is a drive-on ramp trailer, so you can ride a lawnmower or four-wheeler right up there and be good to go. It works off the same system. You'll just pull those pins out and then the side rail can actually fold all the way down, rest on that tire. So if you wanted to load something from the side with a forklift, you can do that. With a regular trailer, if you wanna do a forklift load, you're gonna have to take the ramp off because usually the ramp is too long for a forklift to get anything close enough. Have this side all the way down. I want to show you what 
we can do with the trailer. If you'll notice, we have two pinholes. So we can put it into this pinhole and not let the rail all the way down and actually extend the width of the trailer as well. So here we have it folded down and you just put the pin into this hole. Okay, so now we have both sides extended as well as the front. Now, the only thing about this is you're not gonna be able to bring the rear ramp up and lock it. With no modifications to the trailer in order to operate it like this, you are going to have to pull the pins out to the rear gate and drive without the rear gate or figure out some way to latch it upright. Now, if you let it just hang, it leans forward a little bit, but you probably could take some straps and tie the rear gate to that. Okay, guys, I just measured. So the full length of the trailer with this setup is a little bit over nine feet from the front rail to the back and just over seven feet from the widest point side to side. Now granted between the fenders, you won't have as much clearance, but the ability to go seven feet wide with these folded down is pretty cool. Let's talk about weight ratings. The trailer itself weighs 500 pounds and it can hold 1500 pounds. As far as lights go, like I said, it's got LED lighting all array around. It's got side blinkers and then LED running lights in the back. These are the running lights and then the center ones will flash when you light up your brakes and it's got a trailer light on there as well. That's everything lit up. Okay, so now we have the ultimate test for this trailer. This box is all 2,000 pounds easily. It's loaded with tools in each drawer. So we got the side rail down and we're gonna load the trailer on here. Let's see how it so, now just, so now we just have to hope the old forklift holds up long enough for us to get this box on here. Wish us luck. point out that we've got another row of drawers in the back full of tools so hopefully it goes well Okay, so roughly 2,000 pounds on the trailer. My hands can get through them to shake it. it. Seems to be doing all right. Leaf springs aren't really bothering me out too much. So it's a little high too. Well, let's get it strapped down and see how she rides. Most of the weight is in these drawers. So still got plenty of weight on the tongue. We're running 60. Everything is uh, going well. Don't record and drive, folks. All right. 200 miles. Trailer held up fine. Let's get it unloaded. Drove real good. Okay, we're really about to stress test this gate. Let's see if it'll roll down. Well, the good news is box is unloaded. I didn't die. And the gate seems fine. I'd say the trailer is definitely strong. What do you think? We're gonna work out of this box. What's this? That's a raccoon. 